Hello and welcome to Switched On, my name's Paul and I'm going to be taking a look at what's going down on the Nintendo Switch eShop this week and also have the winner of the Graveyard Keeper giveaway to announce. To be honest, it's not looking good this week with maybe one of the worst overall weeks of games releasing that I can remember, but we'll always take the rough with the smooth here, so let's crack on. Now I'm just going to quickly blitz through this week's new releases as I'll have a longer video coming out about a ton of upcoming games, so keep your eye out for that. But in terms of this week, first up I'll mention Stranger Things The Game and this one is out on Thursday the 4th of July, the same day as the new series hits on Netflix. But there'll be more on this game in that other video coming up later. Next up we have Red Faction Remastered. This comes from THQ Nordic and we're really racking up quite the library on the Switch. And this will cost around £27.30. Now whilst I'm usually a fan of third person shooters, I don't know, I'm just not feeling this one. If you did like it first time around though, and maybe having it portable on the Switch is something worth investigating. Finally I've picked out, no not Dream Daddy Dating or Bus Fixing Simulator, but What Remains of Edith Finch and this arrives on Thursday from Ampurna Interactive. Another game I'm not that familiar with despite it having critical success in the past. It looks similar in gameplay to something like, I don't know, Firewatch maybe, where you basically wander around looking for the next thing to trigger a piece of the story to play out. Again probably not for me personally this one but I'm sure this will do well if history is anything to go by. $20 and around £15 for this one when it arrives. And that is honestly about it for new releases and there's just a ton of shovelware being liberally dumped on top. So as I say, bit of a slow week for the eShop this week but given how well we've been treated recently, Probably no bad thing. News wise, this week we finally got a date from Nippon Ichi Software for this absolutely superb Disgaea 4 Complete Plus Edition, which we now know will be released on the 29th of October. Superb, can't wait for that one. A story from a week or so ago I keep meaning to mention is this weird new controller from hardware specialists Hori who have designed a slime version of the Pro Controller for the Switch to celebrate the launch of Dragon Quest XI I believe. It looks pretty awesome, I'll give you that. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to order one for yourself but at £80 plus import fees you're going to have to be a pretty hardcore Dragon Quest player to pick that up. Then before any sales news we have the winner of our Graveyard Keeper giveaway to announce and thanks to everyone that entered but the winner chosen by Gleam is Philip Krinke. Congratulations to you Philip, I'll be in touch on Twitter regarding the code for that game. Now onto the sales and there are a couple of games I'm going to recommend which have sales ending this week so nip in quick for these and the first is Kamiko. Now this is an old school Zelda like experience albeit a fairly short one but for £1.77 you really shouldn't be passing this one up. They just recently announced that they'd sold 250,000 copies on the Switch so congratulations to those guys. Bit of a left field announcement this next one which is Letter Quest Remastered. I bought this at full price and enjoyed it as did my girlfriend and now at 70% off it's worth a wider audience checking it out. You basically crawl through a dungeon creating words to attack enemies and letters come with different effects when used and the whole package is just really nicely presented and something a little bit different for the Switch so definitely worth checking this one out. The final sale game this week has been highlighted by community member Jesse Volmer and he's pointed out the beautiful puzzle platformer Degrees of Separation is currently on sale. Unfortunately it seems to be a sale that's running in the American regions only and this one sees a big drop down to $8. We'll have to keep an eye on other regions and hope it spreads to other stores because this one does look really good and has been really well received critically. If you've recently picked up Crash Team Racing, 
then you'll want to know of a huge patch coming your way on Wednesday, which adds an absolute raft of new content, including amongst others a Grand Prix mode and online leaderboards. Now this looks to be one seriously chunky update, so make sure you check in on Wednesday to get that patched. And there you go, short and sweet this week because I have my list of top summer games coming up on the channel very shortly. So please keep an eye out for that. Some real sleeper hits are coming our way in the next couple of months. But thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Remember to stay switched on and I'll catch you next time. Cheers guys, bye bye.